Okay, in this uh, example, we're going to look again at proving two triangles congruent. Um, uh, just another easy example based uh, short proof where we're just trying to use one of the basic theorems, side, angle, side, 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 angle, side, angle, 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 side. In this proof, we start by um, having some given information. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in my first um, section of my column proof, which is the kind of proofs that I do on here. Um, and you've got to look at these and decide what they tell you. Um, and they, they each tell us a very specific thing. Um, the perpendicular lines part tell us something about angles, and the midpoint tells us something about segments. So let's start take the perpendicular lines first. So if SR is parallel perpendicular to ST, then one, one thing we know for sure is that angle is congruent to that angle, or is, is right angle. And then if ST is perpendicular to TU, then we know that VTU is a right angle. So we can start by making the claims that angle S and angle T are right angles. That's what those first two statements tell us. They also tell us, if you're, if you're um, paying close attention, that SR and TU are parallel to each other, because there is a theorem that says if two lines are if a line is if two lines are perpendicular to the same line, then those lines are parallel, assuming they're all plan coplanar. Um, but in this case, we don't actually need that, so we just need that they're right angles, and that's just definition of perpendicular lines. Then, because of that, we can then make the claim S is congruent to T, and that's the first thing we know based on those first two statements from our given. The second thing we know. If V is the midpoint of ST, then we know that SV is congruent to VT. Now let me go back and put that in. This is because right angles are congruent. That was our reason. And then the reason that SV is congruent to VT is because of definition of midpoint. Now that I've used, at least partially used my um, given statements, I can look, decide which one of these, side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, 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 side, or hypotenuse leg, do I want to use? Now, remember, you can't use angle, 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 and you can't use side, side, angle, but you can use any of these five. You might think hypotenuse leg, because these are right triangles, thus they have hypotenuses uh, and legs, but we don't know anything about RV and VU, so that's uh, out of the question. Um, we're not going to use side, side, side because we already know something about an angle. So we're either going to use we're going to use one of these three that include an angle. So I either need another side or another angle. Well, I don't know anything else about sides, but I do know that this angle is congruent to that angle. So I can make the claim that tri uh, angle SVR is congruent to angle TVU, and that's just because vertical angles are congruent. And then finally, I can show that the two triangles are congruent because triangle SVR is congruent to triangle and, um, well, I can use the one up here. They said RSV, RSV. So triangle RSV is congruent to triangle UTV. And the reason those are congruent is because of angle, side, angle. Uh, because we have an angle, we have a side, and we have an angle. And then you always can go back in your proof and make sure you have those three. There's my angle, there's my side, there's my angle for angle, side, angle. You need to be able to recognize all three of those in your proof. And so that's a, a nice, short, easy proof for this problem on showing those two triangles congruent.